Remember when Saul, a.k.a. Paul, got saved? He says it in an autobiographical way in 1 Timothy chapter 1. I was the worst of all sinners because I was persecuting the church. I was signing off the death decrees of people in the church. And he says, yet God did that so that I might be an example. Here's the words to it. That I might display God's perfect patience as an example to those who would believe on Christ for eternal life. So be careful when you're looking at people and saying, you know, come on, Richard Dawkins, never. ISIS fighter, never. Right? Someone who hates Christianity at my work, never. Don't say that. Be careful. And do not say that about yourself. You are not beyond God's grace. What must you do to be saved? Repent this day and place your faith in the Savior who died for you. May I ask you a question? Would you die for me? I suspect the answer is not a chance. <laughs> and I have to admit, my response to dying for you would be, no thanks, I'm good. And yet Jesus Christ died for us. You and I wouldn't lay down our lives most likely for a really good person. We definitely wouldn't lay down our lives for somebody who has been rebelling against us, slandering our name, doing every wicked thing he possibly can that gets up my nose, gets up your nose. You, would, you wouldn't die for that person. But Jesus did. And his grace is so expansive, it will forgive even you if you will repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ today.